Yo, what is going on, Shuffle Squad? I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Well, EUIC is over and has been for a while now, and we're actually able to look into a couple of the lists. Now, as you guys have seen before, LDF went over our one and only Alex Shemansky's first place deck from EUIC. I get the honor of showing you guys Tord Reklov's second place deck. So sit back, relax, and let's jump into some Gardevoir EX. Alright everybody, so Gardevoir EX is one of the newest cards that came out of Scarlet and Violet and it has this amazing ability called Psychic Embrace where as often as you like during your turn you can attach as many basic Psychic Energy cards from your discard pile to one of your Psychic Pokemon and if you do, you put 20 damage counters on that Pokemon. So Gardevoir is how we are accelerating a bunch of energy onto Pokemon and it's not that bad of an attacker with 190 damage to be done or two psychic and a colorless but that's not our only attacker we do have cards like chrysalia in the list where we can spread out damage counters onto our pokemon by using gardevoir's ability and then using moon glow reverse and start hitting pokemon even on the bench because we are using damage counters instead of damage we have manaphy to protect our bench because one of the most important things that we can do is set up routes now as we all saw in the uic finals this routes ended up being extraordinarily important because of that memory skip attack if your opponent's in the position Position where they can lock you out of the game you can use this routes to lock them out of the game by making them not attack kind of taking a turn away from your opponent so you can re-establish a setup and get a huge knockout we also have one copy of the Gardevoir with Brainwave and Shining Arcana. This is another fantastic attacker. It has the same attack as Zacian V, which we were playing two of. Now, this card is definitely one of your more turbo cards. You want to get it down, attach, and roar the sword, usually on your first turn to kind of get built up so you can swing and take huge knockouts in the early game. Two copies of Gardevoir EX as well in this list. And you guys can probably kind of see everything on the right there. We do have one copy of Sky Seal Stone but don't forget that in the uh, in the description not the comments in the description you can find the full deck list as well as on limitless.com so definitely check out the list down below and let's get into some games i'm super excited to play with this elite deck all right here we go everybody our game with gardevoir let's see if we can pop off some wicked plays here and hopefully our prizing doesn't hurt us prizing could actually be a huge problem for a gardevoir deck especially if you prize certain key pieces to a game winning matchup so we'll see we'll see heads and do we get to go first or second it looks like we are most likely going to be going second here our opponent won the coin flip yep they are going to go first that is okay that is a okay uh not the best start in the world honestly we do have a zashian that we can throw in the active but that does mean that it's gonna get hit at some point making it a little less weaker uh one so we are up against a maridon list okay don't mind that at all don't mind that at all we will take our one mulligan draw it's a vip pass okay things just got a whole lot cooler for us here So this is the kind of matchup where we want to like hold on to our boss. Now remember, we do only play one boss's orders in this list. So we can hold on our onto our boss, build up a huge Zacian, and then take a big knockout on. We got the boss, but that doesn't help us right now. Yikes! All right, so let's go ahead and VIP pass here. What do we have available? We have all of our routes. That's really nice. We have all of our Zacian Vs. We have all of our Gardevoirs. We have all of those pieces. That's feeling really good. Have our Miriam have penny we have a lot here we have a lot here okay so we'll get the two routes actually we should have got a greninja too Oof, that was uh rough why didn't we uh grab the greninja we'll grab curlia just to keep it in the hand i suppose do this we will work or draw three got ourselves a sky seal stone and we got another vip pass so never punish chat never punish we don't have the greninja we prize greninja okay never mind so guess i guess it's a good thing we didn't get the greninja uh, we can get Routes and Mew here. We can't retreat, unfortunately, but that is fine. We'll just go right on ahead and Roar the Sword. So no Mew is going to be played this turn, but that is fine. No Mysterious Tail for us, but we do have two energy on Azacian V. So that feels pretty good. We also only have four Pokemon on the bench. So even if they fill up their bench and... All that good stuff. I think they only swing to 100 with a Raikou, so they still don't knock us out with Raikou. 
The big downside there too is the fact that we also don't swing too hard with Zashi and V and even if we got like rare candy plus Gardevoir EX, we are not going to be able to accelerate any energy onto the Zashian because it is so damaged. So a little bit of a downside there, but we'll see what happens. We will see what happens, everybody. No, no energy in the discard currently. Trekking shoes for a nest ball, most likely going to get a ride on. Yep. And then they're going to start setting up some stuff with that tandem unit ability. So definitely going to be seeing some plays here. Oh, research. Okay. That is also perfectly fine. Fill that hand up, my friend. Fill that hand up. So, yeah, they, they most likely were trying to draw into some stuff, but they can tandem unit. I personally would have tandem unit first and then played research, so that way I didn't draw into those Pokemon. I got, you know, two extra cards that I could have possibly have needed. Uh, that just feels like the right sequencing for me. Use that tandem unit so you don't draw into the Pokemon that you wanted to uh, put on the bench anyway. Okay, so Trekking Shoes taking their first option. Are they going to be able to get a knockout here or anything of the sort? They do have Flaffy now, which is pretty cool. The downside there, though, is they can't retreat the Flaffy this turn unless they have a switch option. Which, okay, perfectly acceptable. They found a switch, so that works. That works. I don't know if we're going to need Sky Seal Stone. I don't see any Raikou V in play, so probably no VMAXs are going to be prevalent so most likely not going to see anything. So yeah, glad we kept this spot open because putting anything else down would have definitely meant a knockout on our poor Zacian V. Okay, well, let's evolve into a Curlia here. Um, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? I don't want to toss this to be perfectly honest because it'd be nice to get some damage in. So what do we want to get rid of? We'll go ahead and refinement away the Sky Seal Stone. I don't think it's going to be a necessary component here. Got ourselves Manaphy. And another energy, huh? Hmm. Now, we do play Pow Pad. We could Pow Pad and then try to get our boss's orders back later. All that good stuff. Currently, we're swinging 60, uh, 90, 120, 150. So, really no big knockouts here. We could get a knockout if we wanted to, but I think it might be better to dig a little bit deeper into the deck. So, I think research is the way to go. Got ourselves a Penny, which isn't bad, but we did get ourselves another Curlia. Love to see that. Level Ball can get us another Curlia. Because even though we have the rare candy, we could actually go into Gardevoir here. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. We'll go right into Gardevoir. We can Shiny Arcana to draw two. If we get any energy, that's going to be nice. There we go. So now we're doing 180. Refinement probably don't need... The penny at this point, we could toss penny to draw two. So no knockout for us. We will play this Temple of Sinnoh. Level ball can get us another route so we can set up the Curlia next turn. And we will just roar the sword for 180, or sorry, Storm Slash for 180 damage. So no knockout there, but now it's very minimal for us to get a knockout on a two prizer. So not too bad for us, not too bad for us. We probably don't need to accelerate too, too much. So things are looking kind of okay here, kind of okay. Okay, building up that Maridon EX on the bench. Hopefully they also don't play Penny where they can just like pick up the Raikou V and kind of reset us, but... We will find out. We will definitely be finding out if that is the case. I really like this build of Maridon as well with the Flaffies and everything. I think it's a really solid way to guarantee yourself energy instead of playing it on the gamble with the electric generator. So I really do enjoy this version of Flaffy as well. I think the one downside is, is that you are not really able to set up Manaphy too easily. It's a little bit more difficult to try and fit the room for Manaphy because you want to get your attackers all set up. And you really do minimize your damage output, but that's why Raiju V is here. You use Dynamic Spark, take huge knockouts with it. But we'll see what happens here. Okay, Lightning Rondo, definitely knocking out our poor Pupper. Pupper is down, everybody. Pupper is gone. That is alright. If we can find our Pal Pad, we can get our Miriam back in the deck and find another Pupper. Not to mention, we do play two Pupper. I promoted the wrong Pokemon. Whoops. That is a whoops. 
Okay, let's go ahead and refinement then. Let's do this. We need to get Gardevoir EX. We might as well just go for it here. Okay, Guardi EX coming into play now. We can still refinement, throwing away a professor's research to draw two. Another energy card is pretty nice, actually. Let's thin out just a little bit more. Uh, we can get Chrysalia here. Pop her on the bench. And we could actually just slap with this Curlia. That is an option. Get a knockout with Curlia instead of, like, giving up a Gardevoir. You know what? Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Okay, we're going to call it quits there for now. Let's put in energy on Chrysalia and research. And from here, we can just slap away. <laughs> All right, 30 damage to Raikou. Getting a knockout with Curlia is actually kind of hilarious. 30 whole damage with the Curlia. Ooh, Roxanne, not bad. They attack us, get a knockout on our Curlia. We could Roxanne this turn. Which would be pretty gnarly. It would be pretty, pretty sick if we could pull that off. So, yeah, they take a single prize knockout here. That would be pretty good for us because we kind of offset the prize trade at that point because we know we can definitely get a knockout on this Maridon thanks to cards like Gardevoir. Gardevoir is such a heavy hitter. Okay, Maridon all built up. Three energy Photon Blaster definitely going to be attacking us pretty heavily here. And they only need to swing for 42, so that's... That's nothing. That, that is so easy for them to do. Boss's orders actually... Oof. Losing this Gardevoir actually hurts a lot more. Because they know that is the only Pokemon we currently have at our disposal that can get a knockout on the Maridon. However, we did draw into Pupper again. So why don't we go ahead and bring up Cresselia. Put down the Zacian. And why don't we... Hatch for the turn. And Roxanne. We need to hit our Palpad. I'm not sure if we prize that or not. It's probably one of the first cards we should... Okay, we, we did not prize the Palpad, which is very nice. Let's go ahead and use Palpad. We will put Miriam back into the deck along with Boss's Orders. So that feels pretty good there. We'll go ahead and retreat into Zacian V. Psychic Embrace, start building up the Zacian. So that is 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180 plus 60. So we should be at more than enough right now. Let's go ahead and refine it to draw two cards. Put an energy into the discard here. Didn't get our Miriam, a little upsetting there, but that is okay. Let's go ahead and Storm Slash, get a huge knockout on this Maridon EX. And what we can basically do next turn is, thanks to Miriam and cards like the Fog Crystal, we can bring out a Pokemon like Cresselia or Mew or any of these other great Pokemon, retreat them, Miriam the... Zacian back into the deck free retreat basically thanks to the psychic embrace you know accelerating all the energy go back into Zashi and take our last two prizes so very very nice that we can actually pull off a move like that on these lower hp pokemon the other really good thing too is that when they're forced to take out single prizes you offset the prize trade so easily that you can really turn it into your favor so that's also extremely good for us yeah electric generator not pulling through for them in us with a judge. Okay, you know what? I don't hate that. Four big cards here. 
Miriam, let's go. So we got Miriam plus Ultra Ball, which means we definitely get a Doggo next turn for game. So which Doggo is better? Well, definitely not that Doggo. This Doggo for sure. Well, you know, everybody says that these are dogs. Ch I don't think so. I don't think so. These are cats. These are definitely cats. Okay, so Raichu getting built up here. Dynamic Spark definitely about to be online for a huge knockout, but I'm not sure what they really need the Raichu for. I mean, I guess they could like boss out Gardevoir, take a huge KO. All right. Curlia, it is all up to you, my friend. Here we go. Curlia into the active spot here. We can go ahead and utilize Miriam. Miriam's going to go ahead and put both of our Zacian V, our Gardevoir, back into the deck. Just in case we do miss. Uh... All right, everybody. We just ate a whole bottle of ketchup. So we are ready to get into our game two and see if we can pull out another victory. Uh, very unfortunate that that Curlia got stuck in game one, but I'm glad that we were able to figure out how to fix that situation with a little cut in there for you guys so you didn't have to wait so long. So, uh, glad we also didn't just concede that game as well to see if we can maybe figure out how to fix these glitches and give them to you guys so you know in the future because... I'm just very, very honest and straightforward because I want you guys to see what I'm seeing and I want you guys to know what I know. And I feel like the more that we all share collectively about this client, hopefully the better it will get through continuous updates with the uh, devs. All right, so it looks like we are up against Lugia. Hmm. We obviously are going to start the Mew. And we're going second. Very unfortunate. We are going second. So, Okay. Very, uh, very interesting card here. Very, very interesting card. Not sure what that could be, but, uh, it was something at the very least. Drew into a Cresselia here. I think we're not going to bench anything right now. I don't think there's much need to. Hopefully we can, like, Mysterious Tail into something like a VIP pass. That'd be very, very good for us. Okay, Tyranitar V going to the bench. No Lugia in sight. Okay. Let's go ahead and Fog Crystal, just in case we don't find ourselves the uh, VIP pass. We can go ahead and use routes here. Get the routes on the bench. Don't want to attach return. We'll go ahead and Mysterious Tail. Where we do get a VIP pass, we will always be hitting the VIP pass. Let's go. All right, so we do have ourselves a Greninja, and let's get ourselves a Zacian V as well. Seems pretty good. Let's go ahead and conceal cards here. Another VIP pass. And <laughs> when you go that turbo, everybody, your opponent just scoops the game. All right, here we go into our third game. Hopefully our opponent doesn't uh, just pick up their cards and walk away after uh, we start super hot fire. Looks like we get to go first. We will take that, baby. We will take that. Let's go first. Okay, so hopefully we get a really good start. Let's see here. Uh, not the best start to start with Zashi. It's not our best starter. I'd rather start with a Pokemon that we can retreat and go into Mew with, but fortunately we aren't quite in that position, so that is okay. I think it might just be more beneficial for us to go get two Curlia or two routes down so we can get into Curlia and move in from there. Looks like they didn't start their best starter either. Okay, yeah, I think we just go and get ourselves two routes. We have all of our routes, I believe. No, we did prize the uh, memory skip routes, so that is fine. Uh, we have our Greninja. We have all of our Gardevoir. Zacian V is there. We have Rare Candies. We are Gucci. We are looking really good here, everybody. So we'll go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and Fog Crystal. Get ourselves the routes. And we can get a little deeper into the deck if we wanted to by Ultra Balling and finding something like... Greninja, but that's gonna require us to throw away a Curlia, which I don't really want to do So I think our best bet here is to attach to Zacian and Roar of the Sword Don't want to put that temple down too early We don't know if they're playing path to the peak I doubt it with the wild style Drapion, but you never know they could play something a little crazy like that Who knows we actually could be playing against Alex Shemansky's first place winning deck and we get the very, very fun rematch right here for you guys on the channel, which would be really awesome. We'll find out in this Ultra Ball, though. We will find out in this Ultra Ball. Lost City plus Boss's Orders equals Arceus V. I'm betting now. 
it's going to be the Arceus V. Or it's going to be the Vulpix. So they can start getting that thing all built up. Let's find out. <laughs> Let's find out. It is the Vulpix. So it is Alex Shemansky's list. This is absolutely amazing. So we unfortunately don't have a boss's orders at our disposal. But maybe we could get there. We could actually Ultra Ball for boss, technically. Let's go ahead and... Ooh, maybe we should have done it with... Maybe we should have put the Temple of Sinnoh down this turn, but that is that is fine. That is fine. We're fine. It's okay. Let's go ahead and Ultra Ball away this and this. We're, we're going really risky here. We're going really risky here, everybody. Let's get the fish. We're going to get some early damage on that Vulpix, so something like Chrysalia can clean it up later. Luminion, we will say yes. We know we have the boss... We don't get a knockout on this Vulpix, but we do get some early damage on it, which is going to be extremely good. Now, it also does stink that we started, we uh, prized our other routes, the memory skip routes, which does help us against this Vulpix. But we know we have Chrysalia at our disposal, so we could definitely possibly get a knockout. And because we were that turbo, we saw what they were planning to do, and they didn't have any other routes. They just scoop the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's always super fun to make these kinds of videos because, you know, you get to cover some of the best decks in the format. And I swear to you, I had no clue that we were going to go up against Alex's deck. I think that is absolutely fitting and a fun way to actually end the video. So again, congrats to both Alex Shemansky and Tord Rekla for your placements at EUIC. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check out the description where you can hit up some of our amazing sponsors. You can find the deck lists and you can just Go to the comments and leave a comment on what you think you would change in Tord Reklov's list to maybe better fight against Arceus Duraludon Vulpix. But until I see you guys next time, be safe and have a great day. The Shuffle Squad is proudly sponsored by Atlas Collectibles, the best place to buy any trading card game product online. Visit atlastcg.com and at the checkout screen make sure to use code TSS12 to save an unbeatable 12% off your entire order. Atlas Collectibles will ship your product anywhere in the world, so make sure you're taking advantage of the 12% savings with TSS 12. And if Pokemon is not your thing, don't worry. Go to atlastcg.com and see all the other amazing trading card game products they have there to offer. The Shuffle Squad is partnered with PTCGO Store to provide our community with the best access to Pokemon TCG codes. They have codes available 24 seven, instant email delivery, and you can save 5% off by using code TSS5. If you're a YouTube member or Patreon supporter, you'll have access to a special code that gets you 10% off. So what are you waiting for? Use code TSS5 today and save 5% on your next order of codes on any codes available at ptcgostore.com. Are you trying to be the best like no one ever was? Now is your time. Head on over to metafy.gg and search out all our amazing Pokemon TCG coaches where you can book all sorts of training plans ranging from deck help to full season sessions with your favorite coach. What a great way to up your game. Check out metafy.gg in the description below and take your game to the next level. Challenge yourself against trainers from around the world to compete for the biggest online prizing yet. Are you ready for an unbelievable tournament unlike anything else you've ever seen before? The Shuffle Squad is proud to announce our newest tournament series, The Late Night Events, with an amazing grand prize that's bound to have you excited. Players can compete via play.limitless.tcg.com's online tournament platform every Tuesday to get a chance to earn weekly prizes and every week, your placement in the tournament is tallied by points based on your best finishes to earn your rank for the late night invitational event. The series will be conducted starting February 7th of 2023 and carry all the way through to the invitational on July 9th of 2023, where the top players will be rewarded the grand prizing. And the grand prize is a signed jersey and photo op with the entire Shuffle Squad, as well as a fully paid trip to the Pokemon World Championships in Yokohama, Japan. This includes hotel and airfare, whether you're a player or a spectator. Don't forget to check out all the live coverage on our YouTube and Twitch channel of the top cuts of these events for every week. 
and subscribe so you can get notified where to watch the Late Night Events Invitational brought to you by the Shuffle Squad. Now get out there and start winning. We'll see you in Japan.